This morning on Today's Pets, a former Hollywood star opens his home to homeless pets. And the size of these animals will astound you. Today's oh, yeah. animal advocate, Joe Rappaport, brings us this very special, touching story. Good morning, Joe. Good to see you. Hi, Tamron. I know you're such an animal lover. Yes. You will love this. And this guy's amazing. He's gone from Cape Crusader to canine protector. Batman's former sidekick, Burt Ward, is now a true boy wonder to dogs in need. In the 60s, he was a TV superstar, known for his role as Batman's right-hand boy wonder, Robin. Holy yes, Dre, he did tip us off. Always a do-gooder, this cool, campy character catapulted Burt Ward's career into a pow, zot, frenzy. And the rest, they say, is TV history. Come on, guys. Let's go. But today, gone are the lights, cameras, but not the action. To say Burt Ward's life has gone to the dogs is an understatement. Actually, the way I see it is from Kate Crusader to Canine Crusader. <laughs> There's no place like home. His canine crusading mission began 17 years ago when he and his wife Tracy started a nonprofit animal rescue program out of their home in Norco, California, called Gentle Giants. Now, this little gentle giant, would you believe, is still a puppy? Standing at seven foot three inches. Two and a half inches taller than Shaquille O'Neal. Cha cha cha. Do you dance? The giants think they are lap dogs, and the lap dogs think they're giants. You've adopted out and saved 14,000 dogs. That's an astronomical number when you consider the size, the condition of these animals. Where did your love of these big creatures start? When we moved here, we decided one of the big dogs. I've actually been training dogs for 45 years. Tracy's an expert trainer, too. And uh, we rescued a dog, and we found out the ones that we didn't take were all put to death. And we said, wait a minute, what a terrible injustice. So I asked Tracy, I said, look, why don't we just take them for a while? A couple of weeks, we'll find somebody to take this Little over. did you know. <laughs> now, finding homes for these canines, big and small, is a daunting task, which requires obedience from both dog and owner. When people come here, not only do we adopt the dog and train the dog, we train the people. We train them how to care for the dog, how to handle the dog. Every month, approximately 50 dogs are adopted from gentle giants, including some rare breeds from around the world. You have some very unusual breeds. We um, have Ibizan hounds from Egypt. Salukis from Egypt. All kinds of mastiffs, English mastiffs, bull mastiffs, South African boar bull mastiffs. Gila Brazileri, Brazilian mastiff, Adronicus mastiff. Dog de Bordeaux, French mastiffs. We have the Zoloix Quintly, Mexican hairless, Marima sheepdog, Central Asian of Charkas from Russia. We have very exotic <laughs> dogs here. We have American stag hounds, which are actually a wolfhound, deerhound, borzoi, greyhound. Oh, and easy for you to say. Yeah. Some of these exotic dogs have gone Hollywood, adopted by celebrities including Vanessa Williams and America Ferreira. And those currently waiting for permanent homes have the run of the ward house, which was a little unsettling for my producer, Sarah Claggett. <laughs> We have no cages here. We create a communal living environment, and the dogs, they get along with each other. They sleep with each other. They play with each other. They eat together. Now, Ward believes the comforts of home can add years to any dog's life. Dogs need to live inside. We discovered by bringing them in the house and living in the house, that added one or two years. We have almost all of our dogs living longer. The environment <laughs> of, of, uh, is so loving and affectionate and nurturing. How many in any given night are actually in your bed with you, if you don't mind me getting so personal. All of them. All Whoever of them wants can be. to be. It can get crowded. We're thrilled every single day that we can save a life and help dogs live longer lives. And this is my own gentle giant, Petey. Now, he didn't come from that shelter. Uh -huh. He came from Animal Care and Control, where we get our Bow to Wow dogs. But I have to say, the bigger, the better. He is a gentle he giant. He is so beautiful. <laughs> and and how, how much does this dog weigh? How 120 much? pounds. And I have to right. say, Al's sitting kind of far away from him. But we should, in Petey all and full disclosure, yes. you guys have a very special relationship. A right? that won't be yeah. broken. <laughs> there <laughs> are a few Halloween He's coming dogs. after me already. <laughs> What is that? What is Petey that? Petey wants part two. Hey, That's hey, Halloween. back, back yeah, off. Knows, hey, 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 hey. Oh, my God. Hey, I'm not wearing the suit so now. <laughs> back off, pal. Oh, so what? oh that tail hurts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Al, just go with it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. oh no. Oh, Tamron, <laughs> I don't want you to go there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, Petey. You sit down, good boy. Me. Thank you so much. That's I where it all went wrong. <laughs> Chihuahua, I'm not oh, ready for this. <laughs> okay. 
and I'm trying Ooh, to roll. Sounds like snacks for me. And he's heavy breathing now. <laughs> I haven't heard that in a while from a guy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Everything's better with bacon. Let's transition. Oh, don't say that in front of Petey.